and well, I love, think to myself. Happy anniversary. What a wonderful world. 30 years of marriage today. <laughs> so I've treated this and chips up at the what shed. <coughs> What's going on with the weather? We're supposed to have a frost this Monday coming. Friday other day, the forecast in a frost. Or maybe snow. Does that mean everything's gonna die? Oh well. Shit, I think. Sorry. Thank you. It's So what I'm sat in at the moment is our, uh, our new addition to the uh, Malin Kim's allotment diary. It's a van. We've got a van. Uh, the only reason why we want to get a van because, as I've mentioned in previous videos, that with the right uh you've got to keep dismantling it to get it in and out of the car. Plus Kim's been going mad because it's been making a car do. So I said, well, I want a van. And, um, yeah, she came round to the idea. This is it. Well, at least the van comes in handy for getting your boots on and not getting wet. You potting on, babes. Yeah. You've done well with your broad beans, haven't you? Yeah. Quite a few's come up, so. Oh, sure. Obviously. Coming out the bottom, so we're putting them in larger pots because there's just no way at the minute we're going to start planting because it's absolutely, it's all puddling down the bottom now. Um, I'm taking the greenhouse and just show you what we've got today. So obviously, it's all me to mark the plants I've got in. Uh, what we got here? There's more runner beans there, so I expect she'll pot them on. Um, carrots, some money makers, uh, some cherry tomatoes, another plant for her, for the uh, the deer, and uh, me, um, me cucumbers, well, not happy, not happy at all, so we'll see, you might bounce back. This one sort of seems to be doing, I don't know, I don't know. Get off ants, get off. That's the snack cucumber. Um, well, they've had plenty of water. I mean, you can see it's still wet. Yeah, this is uh, Kimmy's little uh, seedlings that have coming up. Is that like, oh, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what she does. Yeah, so that's the state of play today. Where's old big balls? He's in here. Just here, here he is. So if you remember the start of last season, she uh, thought she planted um, beetroot, which turned out to be Brussels sprouts. <laughs> so this year we've definitely gone and got some beetroot. It's good. And then our favourite, which he's going to go in today, is uh, the largest tomato in the world. Uh, as I previously mentioned, we had these last year, didn't we? We didn't get them quite as big, but apparently then get up to... Um, Three pound eight ounces. Yeah. I mean, they were massive last year, but nowhere near the three pound mark. 
So he's going to go just there, in the middle down there. Um, I might put me cherries here. It's a shame I'm not got any money makers in. Mm, I've got some money makers, I don't know where they're going to go. But if it's looking like the, um, the cucumbers aren't going to take in that greenhouse, then I'll just fill it up with more tomato plants. I'll tell you what, three, three seconds before it said camera ready to go, if you'd have just caught what she just said, my word. Um, so, what's up, love? Nothing, What are you bursting for? Nothing. There's a bucket down there. That's yeah. Not for no, not for number two, though, is it? <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> so, uh, we're just going to have a um, a quick brew. Uh, just show you what's been going on. <clears throat> so, tomatoes, tomatoes. Uh, got the tomatoes in. <coughs> I've just noticed she, <coughs> she has just bought more radishes, which I don't know why, because that's all radishes there. I've planted. But never mind, we can get them in and then they'll be up and yeah, so big balls is in. Uh Steve's on guard duty. Stop the mice getting in. And uh had a bit of a tidy up, uh sorted through the pots, so we got small, medium and large pots. Still got the big green bin to go, which is full of pots there, so I can sort that out later on. Wait for another rainy day. And this is all her potting up that she's just done. So the rest of the tomato plants that we've not got in, um, we just potted and put up there. Ooh, they're swimming. Not level anyway, is it? Yeah, he's still got some sweet corn down there, but who knows? I mean, with the frost that's coming, we may lose all the sweet corn that we put in anyway, uh, which we've put in here. She wanted to try sweet corn this year. Never done it. I don't know how to do it. Um, so there they are. So she put them ones in too close down there. I did tell her. Looks like we've lost one here anyway. One, two. There's supposed to be one there. It's gone. Where did he go? Uh, I'll probably get her to transplant one up. I'll take them two out down there. Put one here. Kim, you got a sweet corn gone. You got a sweet corn gone. What do you mean? <laughs> Look at her. What do you mean? She immediately thinks thieves. The sweet corn thief's been up here. Well, how can it go? What have you got a door shut for? Because I've just done a number one. Ah, oh, dirty. So, just make it a quick one today. Um, if we get up here over the weekend, I may put another one up midweek. Just uh, tell you how we've got on and show you around. So, um, <laughs> she feels better, she can have a cup of tea now. So, uh, we'll see you later on. Have a dry weekend. <laughs>